What's up everyone? Brandon here from Mini Golf US. If you are new to this channel, consider subscribing down below. If not, stick around, it's about to get real. We are on official lockdown for 2020. We decided we're gonna bring our very own mini golf course to our very own basement. So let's get to it. Welcome to the Mini Golf Plus, the Mini Golf Channel. Alright guys, I'm gonna show you something that I've never shown anyone before. It's my basement. And what our plan is, is we're gonna make a mini golf course. And this is gonna be our first hole. So, what we were thinking here, and uh, you can see we kind of already uh, laid out a part of it. It's just gonna be a big L, kind of along this wall, and then it's gonna go up a little ramp here into the hole. So that's kind of our basic plan so far. So, Brandon, do you have anything else to add? Yeah, I got something to share. So come on over here with me. We threw some duct tape down here. Um, kind of trying to throw some things together for you guys here. Um, and I guess we'll see where this goes, you know. Uh, we're just trying to show you the step by step. Make sure to drop a comment below if you want this done any other different way maybe or um, what works best for you. But we're just trying to do this hole by hole. So, so stick around. Let's do this. Yeah. This should be good. So. We're using uh, records. We got James Bond records. Hopefully, we can do these for all nine holes that we plan to do. Mm -hmm. Got little duct tape ridges here, so you can oh, yeah. kind of pick you got, where you want the ball to be. Yeah, just like a regular mini golf course. Yeah, and then so and then we'll wall this off here. So maybe we can. We got this cardboard taped to this board, so we'll kind of we'll kind of section it off a little bit. And then of course we got the wood boards here. I got a little phone case right here because. This first hole is going to be kind of electronics, computer themed. So it's going to be one of your obstacles. And then uh, the next part that's really important is uh, to do the corner. All right, we got a couple bricks here from the backyard. We just dug these babies out. It took us a little bit of time to dig these things out, but we got some. So let's do this. So we kind of threw some duct tape down with some uh, some cardboard angles, I guess. You know how they built the Great Wall of China? One brick at a time. So, we got our little angles here. We kind of mapped it out already. So that should fit nicely and snug in that area. I kind of threw a putter here for the angle on this one, but I, I don't know, we're just gonna go off of this right, right now. We'll see where this goes, but. Um, so this will be like our angle going up into the ramp and we're planning on having the hole like in this general area. Here I go. <laughs> Redo. Here, here I go. Whack. Cut you. Oh, cut you into the chase. Ha 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 ha. Ha. All right. Ready? Mhm. Mm Roll with it, baby. Oh. Attempt 974. Oh, there it is. See? And then we're gonna have the ramp go right up here. Hopefully the hole will be right in this general area, right where my ball was, so I can get a nice easy hole in one. Okay, that, that should be secure. All right guys, so we skipped ahead a couple minutes because it took me a while to cut this cardboard circle out. So basically, we got a box here, it's nice and hollow, and then we put another piece of cardboard over top of it. And then with this uh, box cutter, I cut a nice uh, whole size circle on top of our red Solo cup, which we put inside this white box. And then uh, I just got done putting some tape around the edge of it so it's nice and smooth when the ball rolls in. And also, just to have a little bit of a wall at the end of the platform here, we got this nice two-port car charger with classic, I don't know what that's called, but it's like a car charger. So now I'm going to show you the next part. I had a couple ideas here. So just to make this whole fun, here's a little scooper for like a supplement, some powder. I'm thinking... We're just gonna put that right up here, kind of like a little barrier, so you gotta aim just a little bit better. And also I thought, why not have a little trickery to this hole? So I got a little piece of cardboard here. It's like a little flappy door. So I'm gonna put that right here. Nice and snug. So we got like from the bottom, sure it looks like any other part of the wall, but as you see, the ball is gonna hit it. Whoosh. The ball is gonna roll right off the edge of the box. Now that we got our contraption assembled, we're going to 
try to fit it snugly into this little course display we've got for you. Kind of fits perfect right there. I think we should, what do you think? Should we put it right there? I think we should put it right in the right snug in the corner of our wood boards that we put. Yeah. It looks like you got it. This fits perfect because uh, this flap door right here. So Matt's little flap door that he threw on there is going to be awesome. Because if they come up the ramp and they miss the hole, it's going to hit that and it's going to have to make them start the whole hole over. So All right, so on to the next step, I'm going to tape these so it's like a, a nice little tunnel. And we'll probably put a little thing underneath the tunnel right here so that uh, it has a nice little, maybe, I don't know, 30 to 45 degree angle up to the cup. And uh, that'll play out nicely after banking off those two bricks if you're able to actually hit that first one. So let's do this. I got my two little pieces of tape here and obviously we're going to take this and we're going to tape it right at the top so it's nice and snug and that'll work for now. And once that part right here is under, or that little cardboard piece is underneath here, it'll actually work out perfectly. But for now we're just going to tape these together. Which isn't working out too well. Alright, there we go. So, so what Brandon was talking about on our uh, ramp down there, it needs a little support. So we figured we use this to support the ramp so it's at a nice 45 degree angle. And now we can see here, we got some uh, two-sided duct tape right on the box there. So it's going to stick to the bottom. Right about here. So now, now the ramp is nice and uh, nice straight line. All right, so now that we got a nice 30 to 45 degree angle ramp here, we're gonna put a piece of tape under this board here and stick it to the bottom of the ramp so it's all nice and flush. And now, obviously, <laughs> look, we got a big gap here. Oops, we came undone. Let me fix that. Looks good. We might have to secure that later, but. So obviously you can see here, uh, part of our course is missing a wall. So I'm gonna go get our last piece. We got a big box here and we're just gonna put it right here. Some nice lunch napkins or what? Yeah. So, I mean, it's kind of a lazy fix, but we got these big boxes and it'd be nice to like, you know, if I sat on this while Brandon's, well actually they can't support my weight, but well, anyways, I digress. But. So now we got this walled off. So if you miss the brick over there, like if you miss it, hit the wall, or miss the second brick, your ball is gonna end up right over here. And you're probably gonna have to two putt it just to get it up the ramp. So you don't wanna end up over here. So we got a keyboard and a phone case. We're gonna throw these babies in here somewhere. Um, what do you think about right here, guys? Kind of a nice little uh, obstacle that you have to gently miss to get up that ramp. So um, right here, we're gonna put this baby like right here. I think we should be able to clear it from the record to that brick if it's on that angle. Uh, we'll find out. Stay tuned everyone, we're about to play this masterpiece that we just created for you. And we'll see what happens. Let's do this. Obviously I'm gonna go first because I always go first. It's just something we do around here at Mini Golf US. Also wanted to uh, bring a little attention to that grip job. You see that? Very patriotic. America. All right, here we go. I'm gonna choose that center tape there. Here we go. First time's a charm, baby. Oh, I hit that thing. What thing? Right there. Oh, the, the That's foam? That's a good obstacle. Not bad for a makeshift golf course. Let's see this. It's going to happen. Third time's a charm, baby. It's just chilling there. Say something like, oh yeah, that's perfect. We got to get a hole in one here, folks. Same spot. What the heck? Take 974. Oh, there goes the trim. And here we go. Get in there. Get in there, you dirty bugger. Oh, 
There it is, baby. Oh yeah, guys, you probably noticed that we have some of our building supplies back there, as well as a few yoga mats. Hey, Brandon, why do we have these yoga mats? Jesus, don't throw that. We got to. Don't. You guys probably noticed uh, that we got some of our building materials over there, <laughs> as well as a few yoga mats. <laughs> You're still up in the head. Jeez. Hey, um, Brandon, what are we doing here with the yoga mats? We are looking, we're starting to look a little more trim for y'all because we noticed we had some beer bellies and a couple love handles going on in the last few videos and we decided we're going to show some self love during this uh, whole quarantine uh, operation and we're going to do some P90X3. Probably not going to show any of those videos. We don't want to be terrified or anything, but we're going to start looking a lot more trim for y'all. So stay tuned for that as well. Denied. The claw. It's the claw. Oh. <laughs> Denied by the funnel. Oh. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> Cheese and rice. There's a hump here. My lovely lady loves. Check it out. <laughs> I got a girl down at the disco. She said, hey, hey, yeah, let's go. Ready? Mm-hmm. Oh! Talk about a hole-in-one, baby! Hole-in-one montage in the basement, baby! Woo! Here we go. Oh! Got the keyboard. The nasty keyboard again. More germs on a keyboard than a toilet seat, someone once Ooh. said. We should have the toilet paper out here. No, we want to. We don't want to flex. It's like nine hundred dollars these days. Get in there! Oh my God! What? Easy two putt. That's right. Let's do this. Get in there! Get in there! What? How do I putt this one? We're gonna have to just. Tap it in. Tap it in. Oh. Nice hole in two. That was pretty good. Okay. Mm hmm. Oh! Ho, ho, ho. Coming to theaters near you. <laughs> That's gonna be a good one on uh, <laughs> you like that? On, uh, TikTok? Yeah. Oh, that's gonna be a doozy. Now playing as it lies, you can give it one club length or club head length. Oh Jesus! Ready? Are you I'm gonna try to bank off the brick? Try to bank it. Oh, Not enough power. Been enough. <laughs> uh oh. Now what do I do? You're gonna have to hit it out of there. For hit it uh, backwards, probably. Uh oh. Perfect. Too much. Now you can bank off this brick. But I get a club length. Yep. Try try slightly more to the right of this brick. Oh, right in the toe. Brandon's long hole. <laughs> it's hard to play for me. You basically have to get a hole in one, otherwise <laughs> you're out of luck. <laughs> Just tap it to right in front of there. There. Holy smoke. What was that, like nine? Probably a good nine, maybe a, a snowman or two. Uh oh, here we go. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> you just keep getting holes in one. <laughs> I'm not gonna be able to get a hole in one. <laughs> you better. Let's yep. do this. Let's do this. Uh oh. Oh, you get a hole oh, in two here. Oh, oh. There's a little slope on the floor here, guys. A little slopage. Ready? Mm-hmm. Denied! He broke the course! Oh, I broke the course! But scored. I still made it. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like Brandon broke the ramp because he smacked it. Smacked it too hard. Oh, now the roof is oh, broken. No. Oh, no. Guys, this is why cardboard is uh, cheap. But oh, it's a simple fix. It's very simple to fix. Cost-effective, malleable. All that stuff. Uh -oh. good stuff. We need better taping here. Oh, jeez. 
Oh! What happened there, Brandon? Went off the course. Where's the ball? It's over here. Wow. Happy Lakota! Gonna drain this one. Whoa, what just happened? Oh. Jeez. Should I play it from here? Sure. He's gonna go for a crazy bank. Oh. Hit the keyboard. No! I had to play it off Frankenstein's fat foot. Coming back down. That's why we don't have a wall there. Because now, from here. now if you screw up, it's going to fall off the wall. Oh my god, what the heck just happened? I don't know if I can do this. You got it, dude. <laughs> just in case we don't record before. Come on, shooter. Here we go. Here Shoot we go. him again. We're going for a two putt now. Denied. <laughs> Ready for this? The best putt. <laughs> this is gonna be the best putt you've ever seen. <laughs> Getting it in a perfect position <laughs> to hit it again. Wah, 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 wah. Perfect positioning. <laughs> Gotta play it as it lies. Club head from the wall here. Boom! Oh. That's how it's done. Oh. There goes the trim, everyone. <laughs> Jeez. Oh, you can get it from there. But guys, I'm going to show you something that no one else will show you. So when you're in a situation like this, where the ball is on the edge, you can't do a club head because if you move the ball, it's going to be in the hole. So here's what you do. And this is something no one's ever showed you before. Ready for this? You hit the <laughs> course, and then the ball goes in. See that, guys? That's a little secret of the pros. Ba 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 bo wa 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 Ready? Ready for this? Oh! Uh -huh. Oh, there it goes! <laughs> I thought I had it that time. Ready for this? Yep. Too soft. Real Richard head. <laughs> Richard head. Oh, I thought that was enough power. Yep. Oh! Boom! <laughs> That's a good <laughs> What was the name in that time? Closer to the right. Here he goes again. Oh! I broke the ramp too. He broke it. Bye bye, Binky, Binky, bye bye. You just do it with the stitch voice. Hey, Binky. Oh, gotta hold the trim on that one, eh? Oh, oh. How many times are we gonna have you in there saying that? Oh, gotta hold the trim on that one. <laughs> this man had his wizards this morning. <laughs> What do you have to say to the camera? Just remember, the technique is important. Don't start swinging wildly like I was there. I just did a normal swing that time. Before I was like, hey, hey, ha, ha, ha. That's it for hole number one, folks, of our makeshift mini golf course in our very own basement. 
If you enjoyed this content, make sure to like. Also, ring that notification bell down below so you can be the first one to see this next week when we drop hole number two. That's Matt and Brandon signing off from Mini Golfers. Peace.